is yes, with the Department of Computer Science and Engineering, Institute of Technology, Nirma University, Ahmedabad, Gujarat. She is having more than 13 years of experience and focus on cutting edge research and teaching. Her broad research area includes smart grid system, blockchain technology, electric vehicle, and renewable energy sources. Recently, she has won Sri Perlath Ch Chabria Award 2023 for the best woman professor as a runner-up from Hope Foundation, IEEE India Council, IEEE Affinity Group, IEEE Pune Section. She has been listed in the world top 2% scientist as per the list published by the Stanford University USA in the year of 2021, 22, and 23. Two of her novel work of the COVID-19 have been approved by the WHO and included in their COVID-19 global literature on the coronavirus diseases. She authored and co-authored 40 publications out of 40 publications, 28 in peer review, SCA Index International Journal, 10 paper presented in the top tier IEEE international conferences and two books chapter in Springer and IEEE. IED. She is an active member of IEEE and the uh, Women of Engineering India. She strives to contribute to society through her outreach to social present. She aims to facilitate access to the resources for underprivileged students. Now I invite Dr. Aparna for her contribute this session. Dr. Aparna, you can continue your session. Thank you, sir. Thank you for such a nice introduction. Uh, it is uh, privileged for me to be here and uh, share my knowledge with all the uh, esteemed members of this uh, uh, FDP. So let me share my screen first. Is my presentation visible? Uh, yes, now, ma'am, visible. Uh, in the presentation mode also visible? Yeah, now visible. Fine. So, so uh, today's session is all about the AI, artificial intelligence assisted writing and publications, like whatever the uh, AI tools which are available and how they can, you know, uh, help us to help us to uh, have a good writing, uh, a comprehensive writing and then publish it also. So I will discuss the entire discussion will be based on my understanding and knowledge. So I would like to be have the disclaimer in the beginning itself. So it is there is no straightforward rules. So there is no straightforward guidelines. It's just my experience and my way of working that I'm going to share with all of you guys. Yeah. So this AI assisted writing and publications have revolutionized the way that content is created, edited and published. This cutting edge technology leverages artificial intelligence to streamline the writing process, enhance content quality, and optimize publishing strategies. So here is the outline of this entire presentation. So in the beginning, I will uh, introduce the uh, today's session uh, topic that is AI assisted writing and publication, and then I will highlight how this AI has been evolved in the uh, in, in the writing part, like either it is a blog writing or it is a research paper writing, how it has been evolved. Then I will talk about the impact of impact of traditional writing and AI based writing, then uh, the transformations of writing process by using the AI that will be uh, with the you know a major part over here. And then we'll talk about the applications area in, in the uh, writing research projects and collaborative discussion on potential research idea, challenges and limitations of AI tools and future trends in AI driven research projects. And at the end, I will conclude the presentations with the, some of the case studies and demonstration. So let me move ahead with this uh, AI assisted writing and publication, which has already revolutionized the way the content is created and published. So this cutting edge technology or leverage the streamlined writing process to have the you know good quality content and uh, uh, internally, um, uh, this uh, AI assisted writing is using the intelligent algorithms and like machine learning, deep learning algorithm that can assist writing in generating engaging and impactful content while it is offering the valuable insights for pu effective publications across the various platforms. 
so uh, development of uh, computer system is actually capable of performing various tasks typically where the human intelligence is involved we are saying that that is the part of the artificial intelligence and this artificial intelligence task includes le learning reasoning problem solving language understanding and speech recognition as well ai system can be categorized into various uh, category majorly it is categorized in two category only one is the weak ai and another one is the strong ai the weak ai is also known as the uh, narrow ai and which is designed for a specific task or uh, the strong ai is aimed to process uh, process a human like intelligence across a broad range of tasks so when we are talking about this ai how this ai has impacted the entire software market worldwide so if we uh, if we if we talk about the worldwide market of uh, um, uh, the software uh, industry so the revenue for the from the ai is already has crossed the uh, you know uh, crossed the uh, you know more than 50 billion usd in the year 2023 uh, itself now in the year it is expected to it will reach up to 100 billion dollar uh, USD in USD. So this is the uh, annual growth, which, which you can see that you can see that in this given graph, it is going exponentially. This, uh, you know, this is a curve line. Like so, it is exponentially growing, and the market's global annual revenue is currently over the over the fifty dollar billion, as per the Ombedia, right? And if I talk about the uh, various generative tool, AI, AI tool like ChatGPT, which uh, in the late 2022, it has been introduced and the ChatGPT broke the records as the AI platform, which reached to 1 million users in less than a week. And in the early uh, 2023, in the early 2023, it has, it had accumulated over 100 million monthly users. And you can see the impact of this generative tool. And the global AI market is also expected to reach dollar one point eight one trillion by the year twenty thirty, which is from the Grand View Research, which is a renowned organization in this research domain. And then by the year twenty twenty five, as many as ninety seven million people will be working in the domain of AI. So this is the you know projection of the impact of AI for the software market. So AI is actually comprising various standard algorithm and uh, which is keep involving with different different ways. Uh, if we if we if this majorly this AI in comprising the machine learning and deep learning approaches. So uh, as I told you earlier that. Uh, AI is actually uh, the techniques that enables the computers to mimic the human intelligence or perform the task where human intelligence is required, right? So it majorly have the logic and if then rules, decision tree, and internally it is having either statistical approaches or machine learning approaches or deep learning approaches. If we talk about the machine learning approach, it is a subset of AI that includes, you know, the statistical techniques. To enables the machines to perform specific tasks with their experiences the category uh, and further it has been involved you know with the neural networks and it is having the deep learning mechanism where the neural networks uh, is used multi-layer neural networks is used for the vast amount of data to analyze or perform various tasks like speech recognition image uh, recognitions classification and predictions mm -hmm. so these are the you know uh, uh, various techniques and terminology is getting used and there is two more buzzwords that is the data science and big data which is also getting used nowadays with the you know with the in the in the in the correlation with the ai so actually when we talk about data science it also it it has the you know entire the analysis of data on the top of this ai based on the ai algorithms so again, when we are I'm talking about the AI, we can see that over here in this picture, like if this is AI is having, you know, subset like machine learning. And then again, further it is, you know, getting more deeper than we are having neural networks, then it is more deeper, deep neural networks, right? DNN. So, so it is up, uh, upper umbrella is the artificial intelligence and the inner part, we are having all the computer science to, uh, statistical based approaches and algorithms. Right. Then further, another term is the big data. 
So, so we have talked about we, we know about the big data and big data analytics. So when we talk about big data an analytics, so uh, the data will be only big data. So when we say that a big data, it, it means that data which is getting generated, uh, you know, very fast. Uh, rate so the volume of data is quite high velocity velocity is high volume velocity and variety is also uh, high variety is the different uh, you know nature of the data i mean it could be structure unstructured semi structured so different types of variety of data is there and we have to analyze it uh, analyze it so this big data in big data domain again we are internally this big data analytics is using the artificial intelligence and then machine learning deep learning approaches so more or less it is internally using these algorithms standard algorithms so further moving ahead with this you know importance of ai in the research so there is various importance like enhancing the accuracy of any uh, task and precision like suppose you want to uh, predict the price of stock market, uh, particular uh, stock prices, then it will enhance the accuracy and precision, accelerating the data analysis, enabling multidisciplinary collaborations among different, uh, you know, uh, domains worker. For example, for healthcare analytics or for particular uh, disease, either in a healthcare domain, if I will take about the particular disease, uh, uh, you know, uh, detection and handling of that disease. So if we are having that kind of scenario, so doctors and, you know, researchers and computer science specialists can work together. So basically, it enables the uh, multidisciplinary collaborations. It also handling the big data challenges involving the um, experimental design and ethical considerations is also important when we are using AI in the research. So with intelligent algorithm and machine learning, AI tool can assist writers in generating the engaging and impactful content and also offering valuable insights for effective publication across the various platforms when we talk about the writing part. So uh, AI is having the uh, various landscapes. So if you can see that the uh, right part of this, uh, this uh, slide, so over here, we could see the autonomous system is one of the uh, major area where this AI uh, is getting used, artificial intelligence is getting used and, uh, with the uh, driverless uh, vehicles. And then uh, there again, we are having this, you know, machine learning, deep learning approaches for pattern recognitions. Again, natural language processing. This is the there we are having the sentiment analysis like uh, for the social media websites and uh, other uh, social media websites, for example, Twitters, uh, Facebook and all. Uh, because uh, this sentiment analysis actually help for the various, you know, various things like recommendation of any product, the choices of the customers, what they are need, what, they, what are the needs. So various things to increase the sales revenues for a particular organizations. So. Again, uh, AI plays an important role in this scenario. Then chatbot also getting created by using the uh, available open AI libraries, various libraries, open source libraries. So, and real-time emotion analytics. This is the, uh, you know, major uh, landscape areas. Then further, it could be used in robotic uh, personal assistant. Then uh, cloud robotics also, AI is getting used in autonomous surgical robotics where uh, small boats are getting created where the doctors cannot reach with their you know or uh, cannot reach to the uh, to that particular body parts for surgery in that scenario the boats is getting you know play, playing a major crucial role and they are working on top of ai and they are doing the surgical sur complete surgery so the autonomous surgical uh, boats are uh, you know one of the landscape, then real-time universal translations, thought control gaming, virtual companions, and cognitive cybersecurity are the various landscapes of AI. Now, moving ahead with this, our, uh, you know, uh, today's uh, topic, that is evolution of AI in writing and public, uh, publishing. So, pub publishing. So, over here, when we talk about the writing parts, so refers to the utilization of machine learning and natural language processing to aid the enhanced various as aspects of writing process. Mm -hmm. It encompasses tools and systems designed to assist writers in generating content improving the grammar, handling the grammatical mistakes, suggesting the styles, in, uh, enhancements, and uh, performing the, you know, proper referencing, and then many more. 
AI is the writing. AI writing has evolved significantly from basic grammar check checkings. Earlier, we were using only the grammar and spelling checkings, right? And then sentence formation. It has been reached to the sophisticated language models from that part, from grammar checking to the sophisticated language models. The, the, like chat GPT is already there. That generative pretend transformer model is there. And then earlier tool were focused on simple corrections. While the modern AI tool models are can generate coherent, contextually relevant text, right? And aid in the various writing part. So uh, this is actually uh, also saves effort and time of the you know uh, the writer and publishing the content. AI has the uh, you know further uh, various. It, uh, things like uh, content creation, proof reading also it can perform and uh, even uh, it could do the uh, content ideation for the writer. It has uh, democratized the access to writing tools and empowered both professional writers and novices to create quality content effectively. So AI driven advancement has, you know, has uh, new epochs for writers, fundamental reshaping the creative landscape. These transformative tools are not merely uh, augmenting the writing process. They are revolutionizing it and uh, establishing the relationship between authors and their craft team. So by leveraging AI writer can optimize their creative process. They can perform uh, from generating uh, initial ideas to refining it is, is required, refinement is required. And uh, the technological advancement also empowers writers to explore innovative avenues while ensuring the grammatical uh, accuracy, coherence, and stylistic, you know, stylistic uh, format in their work. It also facilitates adaptive writing mechanism, allowing authors to effortlessly uh, tailor their content and to diverse the audience and mediums and it also continues to evolve its impact on the writing process, transcendence, convolutional paradigm, presenting an exciting frontiers for literary expression and communication. So, so when we have all these facilities again, no, sorry, glass, uh, um, I think uh, we are having this, some disturbance over here. Okay, so please mute your mic. Uh, fine. So let me move ahead with this um, uh, further. Uh, so uh, we were, I was talking about that AI facilitates adaptive writing mechanism, allowing authors to afford at least tailor their content, to express their concepts and uh, have the co effective communications. Again, all these in, is internally using your uh, machine learning and deep learning algorithm and refine the accurate, uh, refine the work, uh, you know, with the, with the precision and then efficiency. Ishola, you have to mute your mic. Ishola, you have to mute your mic. Ishola, you have to mute your mic. Now you can continue. Okay, so there is various. Uh, can we move it further? This one. Okay, I am. It is hiding some of the part of the slides actually. Fine. So, uh, applications uh, for uh, for applications of various application area of AI based writing, like one of the is the content creation, another is the uh, number two is the editing and proofreading, the number three is the content curation. So, I am going to discuss all these one by one. These applications of writing and publishing one by one. Then uh, number four is the personalization. Then point number five is the translation. And the sixth one is the metadata generation. Seventh is the market research. And then uh, point number eight is the chatbot for customer support. And then uh, point number nine is the research paper and book recommendations. And the 10th one is the plagiarism detection. So content creation is having the, you know, by using the AI generated uh, uh, content is like having the uh, quite, you know, refined language. So we can use various tools like chat GPT or available tools, which is open source, which is available for all the users that we can use like chat GPT 3.5 or uh, Gemini. Earlier it was the BARD. Then the, uh, we, it, it also helps us to do the editing for the, you know, written content. Suppose you have wrote one, one paragraph on the, uh, any particular topic. Let's take the example of healthcare industry. 
if you have wrote one paragraph for healthcare industry 4.0 and then you, you you thought like what are the changes maybe i have written the content completely perfect but i want more refinement the content should be more appealing then that content curation and editing can be done with the ai also so you give the ai your entire paragraph you ask uh, the ai tool to refine it so it will refine for you then the, the personalization you could generate the content personalized content also it also uh, translate the uh, content for you from one language to the other language and another language over here i would like to share one of my experience while we were uh, working in the you know one of the uh, project that was the uh, sentiment analysis for japanese tweets so japanese tweets we were having the data set in japanese language so entire team was uh, uh, basically we are all we are from uh, entire team is from india so uh, all of are only knowing hindi and english and any other vernacular language but not no, no way they are you know standing in the understanding that japanese language but they were working in the uh, in the uh, project that was the sentiment analysis analysis for japanese language so their ai plays a very crucial role uh, we were having all the models you know and then uh, the models were working but what is the model is giving the correct result so that results we can verify after you know after converting that to its to the you know english language Or to or to ask the AI tool that please translate it or translate into the in particular language. So from Japanese to English we are translating and then we are getting okay. So uh, we are getting the proper result or not. So that kind of help you know it is we are getting instantly from the with the help of the AI tool. So uh, apart from that, uh, it's just an example. You can entire you know your uh, work can be translated. Your entire uh, document can be translated from one language to the other language. With the help of the AI tool, then it could do the metadata generation. Suppose you are reading one of the research paper, and you, uh, you have you know you you have the title of the paper, but uh, you don't have other content, or you have same save the entire thing somewhere else. So it will uh, it will help you to get the entire metadata of that uh, you know that topic. So you could ask the AI tool; it will generate the entire you know journal information, which date that uh, research work has been published, and other information also it will give you. just ask the metadata of the that particular uh, you know research paper so it's not only for the research paper it could generate the metadata for other things also then uh, there is a market research ai also uh, perform the market research for you so whenever you are going for any kind of data analysis you could simply ask uh, you generally ask to the search engine that the uh, this is my query and what is the uh, real scenario right now right now scenario the same query you can put on the ai tool and then it will give you the market research current market research although some of the tools is you know outdated and uh, and they cannot give you the uh, st uh, you know current scenario data but few of the tools are still uh, available uh, openly and you can use that then we have the chatbot for customer support so, yeah there is various tools like chat gpt uh, generative pre trained models apis that you could use and you can create your own chatbot for customer support and then for recommendations book recommendation also you can use the tools ai tools and then plagiarism detection also we can be done so for plagiarism detection there is various um, plagiarism detector tool like turnitin i authenticate these tools can be used to check the plagiarism of the content so moving ahead with this uh, writing tools which have is revolutionized the way and uh, uh, by using the uh, advanced algorithm and uh, natural language processing so these tools are like as i told you earlier also gpt3 generative pre trained transformer uh, model so up to gpt 3.5 it is free which is uh, but which is having the old data it is having the content up to year 2022 only further uh, afterwards it is not having the you know updated database uh, with that so if you are uh, searching for something latest over there you will not get over there so you could uh, instead of using this one you could use the gemini and uh, there you will get the recent data till the last day only then there is one of the tool that is origin lab it is the uh, data analysis and graphical uh, graphic performing tool and which is which is uh, not available freely but if you are having your university email id then by using your university email id you will get the access to the learning version free of cost so you can use it and it will help you to generate the graph and chart so this origin lab is actually uh, you know very much uh, 
beneficial instead of uh, you know plotting the graph and chart using the excel you can use the origin lab which is having more appealing in the form of presenting the graph uh, results in the form of graph and chart then we have the sci uh, space it, it is the, one of the uh, tool ai tool that is actually helps the researchers to read and analyze the research paper you know very effectively so if you have to if in, in a normal way if you have to read a research paper it took too much of time uh, when this ai tool was not there how we were reading the paper we were uh, first you know searching the particular topic and then we are collecting all the research paper from the digital library individually so suppose uh, they I, i have to work on to like say healthcare industry 4.0 i want to do the uh, you know electronic health record analytics and then i want to uh, work in the healthcare domain so i have to go to individually each digital library's website and then i have to download the research paper of the last 5 year or 10 years okay for uh, to see that what work has been done so uh, various digital libraries are available like i triple explore elsevier hindave springer science direct and various these digital libraries i will use to, i will go to these digital libraries and then i will uh, search one by one on all these digital libraries and then one by one i will download the uh, available research work or the paper either it is conference paper or general paper i will download one by one so it is quite time consuming task to collect all the you know uh, all the content all the article from different digital libraries and then consolidate and then after that we will filter out which is the efficient one right which is the beneficial uh, to us because in some of the research work you may find the term healthcare uh, healthcare word and then it is giving you the research paper over there in the digital libraries but internally the content is something else it is not talking about the electronic health record so so after reading the paper after going through the paper we are getting the content so you were it was taking lot of time of us right earlier it was taking a you know a week a month and more than that when it is depend upon the amount of the uh, or number of the papers has been downloaded and we have to go through so to reduce that efforts the you know the researchers has come up with this sci space idea the sci space tool is actually ai based tool and it read the paper for you analyze the content for you and for the research paper and it give you the you know prompt responses suppose you want to know about that in a particular research paper what a, what is the advantage of that work what is the limitation of that study this is uh, this study that can be you know Uh, you will get instantly on the prompt of this size space okay so this is very useful then further moving ahead with the once you are you know uh, you have done your implementation you are writing a paper and then you are moving ahead with the referencing the citation management and referencing then it is quite you know time consuming so that could be handled with the help of the mendeley mendeley is again supported uh, again supported in the word also so you could you know it is a one of the reference management tool that could manage the references very effectively you can change the format from one format to the some other format like apa to some other format you can ch change the uh, format of the citations so that could be done you know if you are having even 1000 of references you don't have to do go, you know one by one you can simply use it and sing for the using the single click the entire reference format will be changed to the some other format then we have grammarly once your paper is ready your work is ready you can use the grammarly.com and then you can do the grammar checking now grammarly is having various you know uh, subscriptions like uh, you, it is also available freely but if you have the advanced version of grammarly then you need to pay it and then you can use the you know uh, advanced level of uh, grammar checking there it could also suggest you the refined uh, you know sentences long long sentences they could you know it can be refined by and it, that recommendation will be visible to you if you have the upgraded account in the grammarly.com and it is also uh, correct your grammar mistakes spelling mistakes so it's a correction tool as well after once your entire paper writing is done then you just move ahead with this you know you know turn it in to check the plagiarism of the work because uh, in most of the journal and then uh, publishing agency they ask that the plagiarism should be less than 10% 
let's first understand what is this plagiarism plagiarism actually if you are taking the content or copying the content of some other published material then it is a, it is known as the plagiarism so uh, plagiarism is mostly should be less than 10% only in most of the journal it is not uh, uh, you know standard uh, for 10% in some journal could be lesser than 10% more than the, that also but in in average i could say that it is uh, you know less than 10% should be in most of the journal so that you need to check off your work that it is you know plagiarism free that you could do either using the turnitin or i authenticate i authenticate i don't think so they uh, they show that the ai plug if, uh, maybe in the recent times if they have incorporated but turnitin for sure so you the ai plug as well so if you are generating the content using the ai tool and you are not you know changing the content by yourself after gener the content generated from the ai tool or not doing the paraphrasing of the content then it will come under the ai plagiarism so that also getting detected by the turnitin so we have to be very careful when we are using the ai tool because some of the journals is you know have already declared that they will not accept the ai generated content if it is mentioned over there in your paper so we have to check that ai uh, plug as well and then normal plagiarism and then it should be within the limit and then we move move ahead accordingly we have to act and then we change the uh, content in our paper and then we, then we have to submit in any journal so key features and capabilities of ai writing tools are content creation so generating articles essay uh, stories can be generated and other textual content could be generated grammar corrections could be done identifying uh, identifying and rectifying grammatical errors in real time style suggestions can be done with the help of this ai tool providing recommendations for improving writing styles and tones of the you know sentences you know you can use this ai to to you know write a small email as well that please write a small you know a small email in a polite tone so you could ask in you know in more politer way refine the content in a more more way you can specific, you can give this specific number of lines also to the ai tools that uh, make the write the email in 3 to 4 lines write the email to 10 to 15 lines so these kind of you know Uh, options are available and you can use it very efficiently so style suggestion is also there you can uh, write the like uh, write the email in positive tone so you know positive way so they it will write you know very uh, or you can have already standard email and you want to change it you have written it and then you, you thought no it is not that much you know appealing and not more polite uh, politeness is you know uh, coming up from the written sentence then you can ask the ai to change it and refine it it will refine for You. then automated summarization so automated summary can be done if you have lengthy lengthy text and you want to refine it let's say your your uh, a senior has or uh, that summarize the you know big document in some 3 to 4 lines then you just put the entire text in to the uh, you know ai tool and then uh, prompt and ask it to refine it to 3 to 4 lines it will do for you right so it will concise this and provide the summary of the long long text impact on writing efficiency significantly enhances the writing speed and efficiency earlier it will, if you have to do the you know you have to create the summary of the long one page then it will take lot of time to you you need to think that how to merge which which part i should keep and remove so that you know Uh, that will re uh, that, that will reduce the efficiency and in time it will take times right so that writing speed and efficiency will be in getting increased with the help of this ai writing tool then assist writers in maintaining consistency in style and tone it reduces the time spent on proofreading and editing tasks less error more efficient definitely the time in proofreading will be very less so you don't even have to much do the much proofreading fine so let me move ahead with the a uh, major part of this entire presentation that is 120 ai tools for various tasks that could be used in writing and publishing so some of the, all these 120 tools is used for video productivity marketing chatbot creation designing and writing so majorly it is divided into uh, majorly six category so if you, if i talk about only for writing there is various tools like jasper ink suffer scale not you know a keyboard a keyboard tool all these tools can be used for writing so as i told you earlier also that you can ask the ai tool to create summary on a particular topic suppose i ask the uh, jemini to write you know uh, 
three to four lines of summary on healthcare industry 4.0 then after getting the content from the uh, gemini what i will do i will go to the quilt board it is mentioned over here you can see that i will go to the quilt board which is again uh, not completely free but uh, in i think up to 150 words or something 185 something uh, i don't remember the exact val uh, number of words but it's up to some uh, value it is free and then later on uh, it is having you know uh, subscription based uh, thing so you can upgrade your account so uh, but uh, that up to free one you can utilize so over there you go you put your content which is generated from the ai tool and put in the, the quill board and just ask the quill board just uh, click on the paraphrase button it will paraphrase it for you so when you will have that content in your you know you know in your work in your paper in your essay writing you will not get the ai plagiarism over there while you will check the document for plagiarism checking in the Turnitin tool. So after doing the paraphrasing using Quillboard, you will not get the plagiarism. Then another uh, various tools are like Grammarly. For grammar checking, as told, I already told you, Copy AI is there, Word Tune, it will define your uh, writing, text matri matrix, and uh, smart copy, word AI. So you can explore uh, uh, most of these you know, uh, tools. Uh, for your writings then uh, before video creations if you know in many journals we have to put the you know a uh, video abstracts or that so if you have to create some video or if you are uh, organizing any conference and you have to create the video various tools are available ai tools are available so uh, you can use any one of these tools like video.io caption app cap cut in video pictory deep brain ai and so various you know, any motto, these will generate the animation pictures and video videos for you. So you just, you know, put the, your uh, requirement and then it will generate the video for you. Then the another category is the marketing of the, uh, you know, marketing of some, you know, let's say you have published some uh, work and you uh, you want to uh, market it, you have published one book and you you want to increase, you know, sales and then you have to do marketing. So for that also various tools are available like Smart Writer, ConvertKit, Poly.ai, Adobe Sensei, Scale. So various tools are mentioned, you can go through it. Uh, some of them are freely available, few of them are, and uh, most of them are not freely available. So you accordingly, you just go for it and explore it. Then for increase the productivity, we have various other tools like Magical AI, Hints AI, AI Intern, you know, uh, Rewind, Futurepedia, uh, Naughty.ai, so various tools, Beautiful.ai, so these to increase the productivity. And then we have for the designing, we have various, uh, you know, for image creation, suppose you want to create the workflow diagram or sequence diagram for your work, that you could do with the help of D-A-L-L-E, then Blue Window, and the design.ai, blend uh, AI, so various tools, hotpot AI, mid journey, these will help you to have various images and designings, various types of diagrams for your work. Fine. Then we you could also create your own chat board by available by having the various available APIs like hugging chat, Bing AI, chat sport, uh, and then uh, Open AI chat, you chat. So these are uh, available to create your own chatbot. And um, later on, can you know, you can be that chatbot could be very specific to your own work also in your particular domain also. So you could, you know, uh, restrict that thing. That thing also can be done. One further, uh, we have the, you know, uh, various. Uh, uh, you know, a portion of this writing part like research conception. If you have to create a research paper, so I could categorize the entire uh, creation of that uh, research work. Like first we need to do the research conception and then we do the, uh, you know, uh, academic writing, another category is academic writing, then editing and proofing of the content and then academic publishing. So if you are if you if you are starting on to work on some, uh, you know, a particular topic and then you want to, you want to, uh, you know, uh, start working on it. So in the beginning, we what we need, we need a research design, data extraction, research paper extraction. Then we need the summarization of existing work, literature review, meta analysis. You know, all these things. Take, uh, all these things will be, uh, be with you. You know, in the first stage of your research. So research conceptions is uh, one of the category. 
their ai tools could play a you know great uh, role uh, like chat gpt so over here in this diagram i have i have you know used this chat gpt it could be any other tool also available to like gemini bard so these tools also could be used instead of chat gpt further if uh, once your uh, research concepts is done we go for the writing of the uh, work whatever the implementation has been based on that we'll write the paper so for writing part we need the uh, language translations data interpretations collected data we need to interpret then we need the what if we have written some paragraph then we need to paraphrase that content then uh, scientific writer is required academic writer is required because why academic writer is required because whenever we talk about uh, writing research paper or research uh, work or conference paper or making any project proposal in that scenario we have to have only technical words we cannot have you know superficial words as we are having in the novels so for that we need to have only technical words so that was that is the you know major criteria in academic writing then informal to academic text converter so from informal wordings we could convert that to the academic text and then title and keyword generation can be done with the ai tools and at the end reference management is the one of the major part in write in academic writing fine now moving ahead with the editation edit edition and proof uh, proof reading once writing is done we need to uh, edit the content we need to you know proof read it so the, it could be categorized in five different category like vocabulary enhancer Uh, spell checker grammar checker consistency checker and citation checker so if my citation is proper or not let's say i have cited one paper which is not having the uh, volume number which is uh, which is not having the year which year that work has been published so my citation is not proper it means right and suppose i am citing my work and my cite in my citation the first page the first page of the uh, work is itself is having the uh, reference number uh, uh, 20 okay and then we i am having 1 2 3 4 5 like this so it means that my citation is not proper always the citation should be you know in the sequence 1 2 3 4 5 like this so first page in the first page first reference should be the reference number 1 so that citation checker is really important then consistency checker is important spell if you have any grammatical uh, grammatical mistakes or spelling mistakes uh, then that could be check with the help of the ai tool and then we can, it could also enhance the vocabulary so sometimes we are using you know uh, like uh, normal informal way of uh, uh, writing we perform or uh, the uh, words we use in our day to day speaking uh, uh, speaking uh, in day to day life by, and we in the spoken language the same word we actually uh, uh, while we are writing the you know paper we keep over there also which is not actually correct so vocabulary enhancer is also important so technical words we have to put over there more you know based on the context based on the context we have to put the words over there so th that could be done with the help of the ai tool once our research conception is done academic writing is done editing and proof reading of the work is done then we have to publish our Uh, paper right our research paper or any document which we uh, if we, or it, it is a letter now letter also getting published with a small size of uh, you know research paper that also could be done with a uh, can be published in very high impact factor journals so uh, so we need to publish actually so uh, which journal is suitable for my work which journal is the good one so i uh, what should be the style formatting for that journal so how i could know all these things for that things i instead of doing the research by our own self and killing our time what we can do we can directly go for the you know journal finder we can directly go for the journal finder we ask the ai tool that search five top five journal for me for this particular topic so let's say i am working on the healthcare industry so i will ask that please uh, search the uh, five journals for uh, you know five springer journals in, uh, uh, for the healthcare industry 4.0 domain for the research going on that so it will show you all five journals okay and then you could filter out which one is uh, better for you you could ask that what are the journal formatting style that also could be shared with the ai tool then journal peer review process and ethical compliance checker technical compliance checker could be done with this ai tools in case of academic publishing 
now further moving ahead with this you know ai driven research projects when we are talking about writing and publishing writing research projects is also playing an important role and we with the help of this ai tools we can also you know uh, write the various research projects fine so ai assist in in uh, assist in for formatting the uh, formatting the uh this research projects in for any funding agency right so you just ask the ai tools to create you know template for this particular topic or create a template for research projects it will create the template for it for you a one which is a generic template and mostly all the funding agency use the same uh, format not same similar format more or less adding more component or even having less lesser component Yeah, in their own, uh, you know, website. So with the with the help of this AI tool, we could do the accommodation of editing and proofreading of the research project. So you just look for any, uh, you know, call available call, and then ask the AI tool for the generate the standard template. Once that done, you section by section generate the content from the AI tool, and then put into that section. So content formatting. and structuring can be done and uh, according to the funding agency standards it helps structure content ensuring proper layout headings and chapters facilitating and funding the process so data driven decision making also could be done with the ai tool so ai analytics provides insight into reader references helping writers to tailor content to specific audience it enables data driven decisions in marketing distribution and content development customization and personalization also can be done in case of research projects so targeted content recommendations ai algorithm analyze reader behavior and references to recommend personalization of the content this enhance the user experience and engagement fostering reader loyalty and it also create ai enables the uh, ai enables the creation of dynamic content adapting to individual reader references in real time personalized articles newsletters and recommendation caters to diverse reader interest fine so let's have a small you know discussion on that research projects with the you know uh, with the outline of uh, this you know research proposal project proposal so suppose you have to uh, generate the uh, uh, particular topic okay uh, content uh, for the research proposal for the projects or the grants if you i could say that research projects then you just ask the ai to generate the outline so it will give you something like this uh, Title per section will be the title. Their introduction, objective of the research question, their literature review, theoretical framework, if applicable, research design and methodology, and then uh, in the research design methodology, we will have some you know subsections, research design, sampling, data collection, data analysis. So you just ask the AI tool again that write the introduction on this particular topic. So give the topic name. Then it will write the introduction for you. Then you mention the number of lines also, twenty lines, thirty lines, as per the need of the you know uh, project calls that will be generated. Let us review again. You ask the tools to write it, so it will write for you. At least you will get the summary of the topic, so you will get the idea what are the things is going on. And then later on you can do your own study, and then you could refine the content based on the latest content available, right? Then theoretical framework. definitely this chat gpt will not give you any diagrammatic representation but it will help you to get the you know theoretical concepts and that part can be done with the help of this you know chat gpt tool and again the uh, bard also but uh, it will not give you much you know diagrammatic representations uh, over there then uh, you could create that one with the by using the other ai tools like dle and all now then uh, then it could have the component like significance and contribution that could also be written over there explain the significance of your research work and how it contributes to the existing body of knowledge you just uh, the particular topic let's say for cancer prediction you could uh, ask the ai tool to write the significance and contribution on the cancer prediction using the deep learning model then it will write for you then timeline it will create a timeline diagram also for you or uh, timeline diagram for you uh, outlining the major milestones and activities of your research work it will also plan the budget and cost for uh, for estimation of resources and funding required for your research work so that will be not the perfectly uh, fine you need to modify it but it definitely it will give you you know at least you know a sample one there you could have little modification you don't have to do much modification and it will give you the generic uh, budget plan then you have to modify as per your need 
then ethical consideration could be done so address any ethical con uh, concerns related to your research including participant concerns confidentiality potential risk this could be involved in the ethical consideration you could write also limitation acknowledges and discuss any limitations of your study of potential challenges in the work that could be also written by the ai2 so definitely all whatever these sections are having over there and if it is written by the ai tools that later on you have to refine by yourself because these are the ai generated content which is not 100% reliable so you have to modify you have to do the at the end you have to do the proofreading but definitely it is saving your time and effort right so then later on you could have the appendices and formatting and style as per the funding agency and the guidelines provided by the funding agency and then you could have the review and revisions of the proposals so you can seek the uh, feedback from the mentors colleagues or advisors and revise your proposals accordingly fine so now let's uh, move ahead with one of the example of this uh, research projects writing part so let's say ki drug discovery is one of the you know complex and time consuming process as you know that these and drug uh, which has been discovered for covid 19 that was the latest one in the very small span of time but it is actually a very uh, complex and tedious task you know time consuming process if you go traditionally and it, it, it involves you know n number of screening of the vast chemical laboratories to identify potential drugs candidates so ai has revolutionized in this field by significantly accelerating the identification and optimization of potential drug compounds okay so ai application in drug discovery could be data analysis and predictions ai algorithm analyze massive data sets including biological data chemical structure and clinical trial results ai also have done the predictive models help identifying have uh, to have the uh, predictive models to help identifying potential drug candidates with high efficiency efficacy and minimal side effects then target identification and validation is also done by the ai tools ai aids in identifying disease specific molecular targets validation of these targets is expedited through computational simulations reducing the time required for experimental validation so these are the applications in drug discovery one of the case study for drug discovery is the benevolent ai als drug discovery where benevolent ai utilized ai algorithm to analyze existing biomedical knowledge and identifying potential treatment for myotropia myotropic lateral sclerosis okay so data integration knowledge graph construction ai driven hypothesis generation these methodologies has been used uh, while this uh, you know uh, this drug discovery has been done and then uh, identification for identification of uh, bari city ne uh, very ai highlighted uh, various uh, you know experimental validation has been done so this drug if to validate the result of drugs and if you check this efficacy uh, in the treatment of als uh, als that is uh, myotropic lateral sclerosis so that thing has been you know already uh, done and uh, it is really uh, giving the promising results so over here you can see that uh, in this slide i am having another case studies i actually want this thing to be uh come down okay i was trying since beginning but it is not coming up you can see that over here i have asked you know one of one question to the ai tool which is your uh, you know free version of chat gpt generative ai tool which is the most researched area in the field of healthcare so although i was suppose i am not having much knowledge in uh, in this domain healthcare industry domain and i have to work on to that i have to start uh, start into that then this kind of summary this kind of summarization is very very helpful for me right so see it, it has also saying the limitation of my knowledge as of my last knowledge update in the january 2022 so if whatever the information or summary we are getting we are getting up to the database available up to january 2022 so and what it is showing over here is showing this uh, you know various domains or sub area in the healthcare field healthcare field so one of these are cancer research infectious disease neuroscience and neurological disorders genomics and personalized medicine. 
medicine. So various subdomains are there. When we talk about healthcare, it is not only one specific mental health illness, electronic health records analysis, various things are there. So it is already mentioned over there. So this kind of summary is really helpful for a researcher who is starting for you know researching in a new domain. Now, then you could another uh, another example is mentioned over there. How can we use machine learning with data analytics to predict cancer for research perspective? So the steps, generic steps is mentioned by this, you know, generative AI tool. And you could see that in the beginning, we have to do the data collection and pre-processing, gathering relevant data sets containing features related to the patient demographics, clinical history, genetic information, and diagnostic test. Quite, you know, uh, relevant for any person who is starting for the implementation, right? Especially for the students who are not, you know, uh, much aware of the implementation part and want to work on to that, you know, particular uh, domain. So that feature selection, data splitting, training and test, and then the model selection and all those parts. So it is quite elaborative and uh, step by step things I mentioned. So helping uh, you know, in the entire community, in the entire uh, research and uh, uh, teaching community to go ahead with this, you know, implementation part. Further, another uh, use case of this AI tool. This is from the actually Germany. Earlier it was barred. So when it was barred, then I have created this you know, uh, the, this uh, question I have asked to the smart that create a system model formulation diagram regarding machine learning used to predict cancer in the patients. And it has given to me the, something like this. So it is very generic one, not very specific one, but definitely it will give you some of the idea that how you could create your own diagram. Although you can use the different tools if it is not giving it to you over here, uh, because sometimes uh, AI tools give, you know, different results. So it may give you only the this kind of summary which is mentioned over the bottom side i will not display you the uh, you know this kind of diagram or in sometimes it will display the diagram but it will show you you know it is taken from the some available literature so you could directly go to that available literature and we have the entire uh, complete diagram for the understanding purpose right further moving ahead the collaborative discussion on potential research idea so ai Technology foster collaboration and facilitates knowledge sharing among researchers. Cloud-based platform powered by AI algorithm allow researchers to collaborate seamlessly, share data, and work on research projects across across geographical boundaries. Right. So even the if you even if your your collaborators are staying in USA, UK, somewhere else, you know, far ahead from from. Uh, far uh, distant from here so you can you know uh, can work together like you have the overleaf so there you could uh, you know both of the party can work together on in the writing part of the paper so, uh, we have some disturbances so can you please mute yourself okay we'll continue Okay, so AI driven recommendation system uh, connects the researchers with relevant expertise, enabling interdisciplinary collaborations and exchange of ideas. Doctoral students can leverage AI powered collaborative tools to expand their networks, seek valuable feedback and engagement in meaningful collaborations within their research communities, no matter how far they are, right? So definitely various tools, AI tools are available to write the research paper all together, to work together. For example, Overleaf, in the Overleaf, you could have, you know, you can create your own uh, latex-based uh, research paper you can generate the pdf over there and two or three or multiple people can work together by using the overleaf as well so this is the another ai tool which helps you to you know write the research paper and multiple people can work parallelly on that paper at the at the same time t now then group activity designing an ai driven proposal group formulation could be done then structure of the group activity like brainstorming session, collaboration, collaborative design, role allocation, feedback and iteration, presentation preparations, and guidance for group activity, like the integration of AI tools, effective collaboration, adaptability, all these could be, you know, uh, done with the help of this AI-driven proposals and then group activity, uh, AI-driven group activity. 
then when we are talking about these number of uh, you know ai tools and uh, how it could impact and uh, our you know writing academic writing in a meaningful way we have to have some kind of ethical considerations before applying these ai tools definitely we are having the uh, facility to use it but we should not use it unethical we have to have some ethical consideration so some of the ethical considerations i have mentioned over here is the authenticity and transparency then point number 2 is the avoidance of plagiarism and copyright issue point number 3 is mitigating biases in ai algorithm number 4 is preserving human creativity and expression then the fifth number is safe guarding privacy and data security the last one is responsibility in ai ai adoption so let's discuss all of them one by one so in case of authenticity and transparency we have to if we are using the content from any other source there should be transparency and we should cite that source always we have referred some content from some other published material or article we have to cite in our work excuse me then the avoidance of plagiarism so uh, as per my knowledge the plagiarism from a single source should be less than 1% and if it is from the entire for the entire document or its entire paper should be less than 10% on an average for all the journals so if you are having you know you are having the entire one paragraph from one, one particular source one single source and it is giving you more than 1% of plagiarism for that one single source then it is not acceptable right you have to do the paraphrasing and you have to change it so that thing we have to do again if you are taking any kind of text any kind of material referring from any published material then we should not take it without citing it otherwise there will be copyright issue so we have to always cite it and we have to see that that if we could take that content or not from that particular site or published material right then have mitigating biases and ai algorithm so that also we have to need to take care human creativity and expressions safeguarding privacy data security so if you are taking the content it should not impact anyone's you know uh, data privacy and security issues uh, and then we have to be responsible why we are, we are taking the ai tool uh, for our you know uh uses of writing academic writing and publishing any academic work publishing our uh, written work fine so now uh, this is the entire things so, so now let me we conclude the entire presentation the integration of artificial intelligence into research projects and writing and publications has transformative force and uh, it is a new era of efficiency accuracy and innovations in in the terms of uh, you know publishing uh, research work through the showcase success stories in duck discovery and astrophysics it is evident that ai serves as a catalyst unlocking precedent possibilities and accelerating the pace of scientific breakthroughs the collaborative discussion on potential research idea underscores the importance of interdisciplinary collaborations fostering an environment where diverse perspectives converge to harness the full potential of ai then group activity where participation design ai driven research proposal writing research paper could be done and then uh, with the help of the various ai tools and uh, it could synergize the you know expert human expertise and ai technology in the key to unlocking the novel research avenues as we explore the uh, benefits of collaborative work in the ai driven research work and research project formation uh, research paper writing Uh, discovering cross disciplinary insights enhancing the problem solving it becomes clear that the future of research is uh tied to the seamlessly integration with the ai fine so this is the entire uh, presentation along with the references so these are the references which i have used for my uh, presentation so if you have any query then i am open for that yes please go ahead thank you very much uh, good evening ma'am and every attendance uh sometimes is when uh, we are using uh, ai for writing it will showing the high rate of uh, plagiarism how we can go through this thank ah, you this okay. is my question okay as i told you earlier also that uh, you can uh, whenever you are generating let me end my uh, slide so whenever you are generating this 
no content from any ai tool let's say i hope my skin is visible is my skin visible yes yeah visible with this with this your chat gpt you know uh, screen i hope so it is visible so i simply uh, simply let's say um, write one paragraph on healthcare industry 4.0 suppose it is giving you something this paragraph right so it is generating some content some meaningful content but definitely when you go with this text it will give you the plagiarism right so you take it from here now you go to will mom the screen is not moving only one side your slide is not moving no slide is not there i am showing this uh, what uh, the tool ai tool not let me it's share it, let me it's share the wait, wait 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 uh, wait let me share the uh, how to share the entire the screen uh, just a minute uh. is it visible now yes ma'am yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah. So just now, what I have done, I have done nothing. I just open this, you know, the AI tool, uh, GPT three point five, and then I ask this question. You can see that write one paragraph on healthcare industry four point zero. I hope it is visible. So it has given me some one, some content like one paragraph, something like this. So if I will take this content directly to my work or in my document, so definitely I will get the, you know. uh ai based plagiarism so what i will do i will go to another tool which is quill bolt you can see that over there which is a quill bolt so you just simply paste the document te text over here unable to paste so you put control v so you can see that only it is taking uh, you know how much the limited time 73 characters right so this much only you could paste rest it may discard so another round you can do and then you, over here you have various modes standard fluency formal academic creative so various modes you can use generally we use the standard one so st custom and more changes you can do simple expanded shorter so you simply use this part and then you click on the paraphrase and then right side of the panel you will get the changed content now you use this one now you use this changed one in your document you will not get the ai based plagiarism even you will not get the normal plagiarism part not only ai generated plagiarism uh, definitely some of the reputation will be there like say this sentence this this and the emergence of healthcare industry 4.0 this may give you this four words are coming together healthcare industry 4.0 this is you know kind of you know uh kind of very generic word and getting used multiple times in uh, many places so this only this part it will give you but not the entire paragraph will be the plagiarism ai based plagiarism but in this case in the left side the entire paragraph will be ai generated content but this will not be ai generated clear i hope so you it is clear now yeah thank you ma'am thank you yes good afternoon madam good afternoon sir uh, any tools in ai to solve that partial if non uh... non linear equations non linear equations uh, very specific to the your uh, research work <laughs> as of now it is not uh, you know uh, very you know uh, uh, perfect one is available definitely you could utilize these tools like these tools to you know you know to perform some part of the your work some portion of your work so you divide your task in some small small task for the sub task you divide very small small portion and then you give the task to it it will give you some kind of you know solution to you but not on a single way you cannot ask and they cannot perform for you help the gpt chat gpt also solve the differential equations small small portion can help so definitely you have to put entire thing in time information so it is depend on you how you are putting the information to it suppose you want to create one small function right a small function to solve a particular problem so that a small function you could give it to you to generate in let's say in python language so it will generate for you that coding part it can do for you okay but not the entire equation can be solved by uh, by the uh, you know ai tool itself differential thank equation thank you one question in chat box ma'am Doctor Sabir is sent to ask: Is AI is blessing or curse, or is or is it both? How to use it in a proper way so as not to abuse the human? Sorry, ah, uh, 
I didn't get the question. Please see the chat box, man. Okay, so which question, sir? Hi, all. Good afternoon. Is the AI is a blessing or curse? This one? Yes. Or it is both. How to use it in proper way so as not to abuse the human intelligence? Okay, definitely. When we need the human intelligence, as of now, this AI cannot be cannot replace the human intelligence completely, right? it is helping us to generate the content definitely it is a uh, big game changer in case of uh, uh, content generation video generation image generation big game changer but if you are thinking like it will completely re replace the human intelligence that is not possible in right now in this scenario but definitely as things are moving and we are having various tools like sora is also has been announced i hope you have heard the news the sora is going to come in uh, in some uh, time and then the sora will do the uh, text to video generation so directly animated movies which we are currently people are putting so much effort to generate the uh, movies creation so that could be done directly with that one single tool so uh definitely uh, it will uh, create lot of you know lot of challenges for human beings and uh, in terms of job or opportunities but def people will have the you know different kind of you know job opportunities like ai based you know uh, ai based development so people will be working in the space of ai so ai expertise or ai knowledge will be required for the people uh who will work with these tools right so definitely uh it will be you know kind of balanced on both the parts so it will help it will resolve more uh, it will automate many of the things but uh definitely it is having you know uh, losses of job is will be uh, job will be there so both the things are there <laughs> then we have this you know another question is the answer of ai is always correct no it is not always correct as i told you earlier also first you generate the content from there you if you have to paraphrase it required then you paraphrase it then you read by yourself don't blindly go with the generated content it will have the repeated of sentences you know sometimes it will have some out of context words so you cannot rely blindly on the ai to you have to involve yourself to have the things perfectly work for you no yes sir मैडम प्लीज एक बार और बताइएगा जरा प्लेजन कैसे चेक करेंगे प्लेगरिज्म चेक करना है यू वांट टू चेक द प्लेगरिज्म यस रिसर्च पेपर का प्लेगरिज्म चेक करना है ओके सो इफ यू हैव एक्सेस ऑन एनी यू नो प्लेगरिज्म चेकर टूल लेट्स सपोज आई होप माय स्क्रीन इज विजिबल सो यू गो टू लेट्स से योर टर्निटिन अकाउंट इफ यू हैव एक्सेस फ्रॉम योर यूनिवर्सिटी आइदर इन टर्निटिन और आई ऑथेंटिकेट ओके सो यू जस्ट सिंपली गो टू योर I don't think so. I remember the password. Let me check if I am able to log in. So okay, so I am able to log in. That's great. So then you simply go to your account. You can see that it is the account of my own university, and then you could have something like this: the class name, and there you go. So in the beginning itself, the administrator will create the class for you, and later on, with the help of AI tools. No, this is the uh, turn it in uh, to to check the plagiarism of the content, and I will not suggest you that use any open source AI tool to check the you know plagiarism of your uh, new document because if you are using any open tool, they may save your data, and later on it will be if it is saved, then when you are checking the plagiarism in the turn it in or I on the ticket, it will show you the uh, the plag. Although you have not taken the content from somewhere else, so don't okay. uh, try to check the content in the available open source tools or websites. You always go something like the you know authenticated one, like Turnitin or Ion Thirtyket. Okay. And then, okay, so you go to the add assignments and then you upload the PDF and then it will generate the plagiarism report for you. So the next steps, I hope you know that, right? Okay. Any other question? Thank you, ma'am. Uh, Doctor D L Sutar sir. Oh, uh, thank you, Doctor Aparna ma'am. for your fruitful and nice presentation now i hand over the further session to dr sham sundar for continuing the uh, session dr sham sundar ha uh, technical session uh, appreciate the certificate sir yes. the technical certificate of resistance uh, online base you collect <laughs> okay thank you so much for this uh, you know uh, appreciation certificate i am really uh, glad to, uh, glad to be here as part of this you know uh, prestigious uh, faculty development program and to share my own understanding and knowledge with all of you guys thank you so much
थैंक यू सो मच थैंक यू टेक्निकल टीम लिव द